Scorpios, what's going on, y'all? We about to do a home reading, something a little different. I got a little special treat at the end of this too, something new. Um, I may cuss, but I don't curse. You heard? And also, if you want to get in contact with me, or you know someone who wants to contact with me, get in contact with me, based upon like a reading or something of that nature. You can click on the channel tab and it'll take you to a website to where you can make an appointment. Uh, you can link with me via Google Meet Pause. If you use Zoom, I can, I can accommodate that. And if you just want to kick it on the phone, I can do that as well. Alright? The reason why I'm doing this reading is because the moon is inside of cancer right now. Pause. And it's in conjunct the sun transiting Aquarius uh, in conjunct causes disharmony I don't know if y'all can feel it pause but I can feel it pause that there's a disconnect or disharmony between what I'm feeling or what I feel like doing in contrast to what I'm focused and concentrating on right now kind of sounds like I don't want to do these readings right but it can also be the other way around like I'm focused and concentrating on what is being done in the area of Aquarius, which rules over astrology, which rules over communication, which rules over the internet, yet I'm feeling something else. Like I'm feeling things that are relative to the sign Cancer. You know what I'm saying? But for me, it's a Pisces, the fifth out. All right, I'm doing too much right now. Giving too, that's too much information. Now, this is a very transparent reading, but that was just doing a little bit too much. But that's why I'm doing that, because it is said to be believed that when planets transit Aquarius now, that they start behaving or influencing us to feel like it's actually happening in Cancer. So this is like a spiritual experiment. Alright? I'm going to slice and dice this deck. Draw the first card. Three card draw, by the way. This is the scenario at hand. Scorpios. The temperance upright. For those of you who know, I... I do call this card a Taurus card, not a Sagittarius card. So the home life is peaceful, huh, Scorpio? Good. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And um, it's that way because you've been patient about family matters. The relationships in your family, well, first of all, you got a soulmate. This might even be new. Picking up on this soulmate that you've attracted, that you have in your life, might be a new partner. And I think there's been some time of separation between, excuse me, your last lover, significant other, and the person that you're dealing with now. This soulmate that you have now. And the reason why there was such a gap in between is because you was really taking your time before getting with another partner. But you knew you needed a change. You knew you needed a change in partnership because you needed a change within yourself. It wasn't harmonious. So that disharmony was also felt in the home. See, we began talking about the disharmony between the moon and cancer, which rules over family in the home. And the sun and Aquarius, probably more higher octave mind activity taking place to actually make this decision you're talking to your higher self to make this type of decision this this soulmate of yours brings you peace harmony it's like serenity now in this bitch you understand like you've made the correct choice you've listened to yourself you knew you could do it despite how trying it may be you know how some people, they stay in relationships because, you know, we stay in it because of the kids. You know, we stay together for the kids. And knowing that that has proven to be more damaging than it could be to just separate. But sometimes you don't know that because you've never done that. You've always been together for the kids type shit. This is what I'm feeling. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, please. This person pours back into you. Things that you used to do extremely in the home, you do with moderation now. Might be a little drinking and smoking a little bud or something, I don't know. 
um, and you notice that that's uh, that's helpful as well, you know. So the change that you've made has been relative to the foundation of your family. I'm picking up on these as some older Scorpios, late 30s, 40s, and above that I'm speaking to right now. You got the maturity and the wisdom to stay optimistic about family life despite how it could have been disruptive at home. You might have kids that are already grown out or nearing that age. They might be getting ready to go to college. But it's not like you're letting go of them because they're at that age. It's like, okay, you could still make family plans even if the kids are not going to be home or, you know what I mean? I'm going to draw the card, the next card, to see how you perceive this, Scorpio, how you see this. Hope y'all can hear me. Let me see. Let me just turn it up one notch just in case. The star in reverse. Interesting turn here. You know what I'm picking up on? I'm picking up on you feel like it's too late to be seen as a family. I'm picking up on some Scorpios who have lived their lives. You know the you know the part of growing up and raising a family when you know you're just having the kids, you know she's pregnant again or you're pregnant again and maybe with the second child and all of that part right there is just like the beginning and the budding of family life and like I said I feel like I'm talking to some older Scorpio so it's like I'm feeling that y'all went through that part of your lives already and it did not turn out the way that you expected it to be with this star card here so it's like hopelessness for an actual retry, you know? Even with your soulmate at hand, it's like you might feel like another kid at this point is not the answer. Or that should you do it, like let's say you try to do it, have another child or maybe more children for the sake of having that family life that you wanted in the beginning you feel like that's maybe a um it's not vindictive but it's it's not genuine either you know what i mean it's like just because it's like you're trying to live your sec like people live their second childhood it's like you're trying to live your second family life when in all actuality your kids are damn near grown and you're at a nice age to where you and your soulmate could just live it up together in peace, tranquility, but you feel like you might get bored with that. I think you played a large role in raising your children, and although it might have been chaotic because of the partner that you had, it still was your family. Like It still gave you something to look forward to, you know what I'm saying? I get like y'all are the Scorpios that always wanted families and again you pictured it to be some type of way that it didn't end up being and you're kind of fearful that you might get bored with your significant other your lover just because it lacks creation which is children get what I'm saying I'm getting that your soulmate doesn't have any children either but if they do, you make it fit the way it got to fit. Pause. Um, hmm. One of you may be more career driven than the other as well. So you can see how that may cause some type of not conflict, but different. just different lifestyles in a home that doesn't have children 
So it's different when like one of the parents can work and the other one stays at home to take care of certain stuff. It's like, it's not like that. Like one of you is very career driven probably and the other one is just like, it's like y'all are both single but y'all are together. Does that make sense? I'm trying to explain this the best way I possibly can. Y'all are like not the same, but y'all are perfect for each other. But at the same time, the compatibility comes when y'all are able to meet up with each other. And you're like, man, if we just had a home life, that, that would have us together more or have us more to share more things in common because I get that y'all are different despite y'all being soulmates. So let's see what the factor is to consider here, Scorpio. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is interesting. I'm getting that I'm getting that you may have a child that I'm getting you have more than one child though but you may have a child that is the I don't know if it's the middle child or but that gives you a lot of shit always have given you a lot of shit and for the life of you according to you you've done all you could to provide for them the same way that you've provided for the rest of the children but it's like children are different you know they all got their own individual characteristics this is the child that might have even took on more of the traits. I'm getting of the mother, but you make it fit the way it is supposed to fit. Pause. If you're a mom watching this and you're the baby's father is the one that you had to break it off with, then this child has picked up the, has more of the traits of the baby father. And what's going to happen is be prepared for this. Be prepared to get a message from this child that's bad news. It's gonna be it's gonna fuck your day up. Maybe a week or some more. It's definitely gonna fuck your day up. It's gonna be very disruptive. And it's gonna piss you off even more because it's gonna be like something that you've taught this child, something that you've explained to this child more than once. Something that you've tried to prepare this child for. And yet they're ignorant to the fact still. And what they're going to do is they're going to blame you. They're going to say it's your fault. They may even blame it on your new, your new boo as well. And they're going to be like, well, what about me? What do I have? That's why I don't fuck with you. That's why you ain't shit. That's why, you know, I wish I could live with mom or I wish I could live with dad. And I don't think they stay at the house anymore, but it's like they're, they're experiencing something on earth right now that is hindering them. I think it's money related. Yeah, I'm seeing it's money related. And you're just like, listen, man. I think you believe that they are squandering their wealth. Whatever, however much it is that they have. You may even be still like giving them a salary of some sort, an allowance of some sort. But they might be into some fucked up activities. And that might have you like, you know, not giving them as much as you used to or whatever the case may be. Or telling them to go work, work hard for what they want. They're like of age to be functional on their own, yet they're refusing to do so. Now, 
gonna shuffle this crystal grid deck that I have. It's brand new. Bear with me, cause shuffling this is challenging. Very brand new deck. Real smooth. Oh man, they're jumping out. They're jumping out. I'm not taking those though. And um, this is about from about 80 different cards, 80 different crystals. You might have some of these Scorpio, but it's. Its purpose is to give more in-depth detail to the reading that we just have done. Alright. So I'm going to cut the deck. What do we have here? We have the Tiger's Eye. I've heard of this one. I've actually seen a Tiger's Eye before too. I think, matter of fact, yeah, I got a, I got a necklace, a bead necklace, tie guys. Um, this is about courage, optimism, and power. So we're saying a courageous and brave stone, tiger's eye, motivates you to show up as your best self, dispelling any fear and doubt in your path. We spoke about that. Known as the shapeshifter, tiger eyes embodies, tiger's eye, excuse me, embodies healing energies from both the earth and the sun, drawing optimism toward you while also grounding you in reality. Call on the warrior inside of you and pursue your ambitions with laser focus. Remember I spoke about the in conjunct between the moon and the sun. Sun represents focus. This is a um, draw energy from the earth and the sun. Pay attention now. With confidence, strength, and power, Tiger's Eye helps break through any blockages that stand in your way. Activate the warrior inside of you. This is a Leo... Capricorn and Sun Crystal. Hope y'all enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. I'm out.